It's Project for Awesome time. Hundreds of people create videos advocating for their favorite charities. As a community, we discuss and promote videos, raise money for charity, and then vote on that money's distribution to decrease the overall level of world suck. This year, my choice is the Greyhound Pets of America. It's a tax-exempt 501c3 nonprofit corporation that was founded in 1987, the largest single nonprofit Greyhound adoption program in the world. Since then, the chapters have worked together to adopt over 80,000 Greyhounds into homes and to just promote public awareness of these majestic canines. They are with you every step of the way to provide for, own, and even foster greyhounds, and there is no cost for all the resources it takes to foster. My family began our greyhound fostering adventure in 2011 with Keystone Greyhounds from Pennsylvania. We currently have two greyhounds that we own. We have Hank's Dino, or Deke, and Greta's Queen, or Ellie, and we fostered a total of three greyhounds. Doodle, Packers, and Benji. You can find all of the racing statistics of these greyhounds online by their pedigree by using their name, or their racing ID tattoo. The right ear is the month and year of the birth, and the left ear is the registration ID that's given to them by the National Greyhound Association. Puppy greyhounds are actually called land sharks because of their tiny gripping teeth. They're born in litters, handled well, adjusted in kennels with neighboring greyhounds all around them. They also routinely wear muzzles among each other, and crates are like a small space and home for them. Fostering enables you to teach greyhounds how to become household pets. Deke will be eight years old this upcoming January, and he is one one of six litter of Zam Turbo Blitz. All of the litter, hilariously, was named after Hank. Hank's All Smiles, Hank's Amber, Hank's Dino, Hank's Zenyatta, and Hank's Jesse. Ellie is almost six years old, and she is one of 24 offspring. She, like some of the other offspring, never raced, but that does not prevent her from being an adorable, face-licking kind derp. Greyhounds have an incredible internal clock. Deke and Ellie, both at first, did not know how to use stairs. Ellie gets more excited over the time to walk, and Deke has sensitivity to fireworks, while Ellie has sensitivity to weather changes. Greyhounds will definitely also clear out an entire house with their flatulence. They can't really sit. The term that was coined from this is called the cockroach. My family has also coined the initialism FRAP, frantic repetitive activity period, wherein if a greyhound gets excited enough, like Deke for example, he will begin to run in ovals even if he is inside the house. Ellie doesn't do this probably because she didn't race at all, but she does go outside and play in the snow, and she also will hoard toys onto her floor bed within the house and play with them upstairs alone in the room. Oh, Deke, though, he's my playtime buddy. Good boy. They also have to wear coats for walks because of the temperature differences outside. They howl wonderfully. We use baby gates in the house, very lumpy floor mats because they like to lump the floor mats together, and raised feeding stations. They're lovely on walks, they get along pretty well with cats, and basically while being giant doofus cats, they sleep about 18 to 20 hours a day. Also, did I mention they love to cuddle and that fostering is free of charge? I find that every experience with a greyhound is always an unforgettable one. Even retiring racing greyhounds for dummies helps, but it can't cover it all. Primarily, chapters around the nation have struggled to find homes for greyhounds because of the closing down of racetracks. You need foster homes confirmed first before they can actually accept them into the program. Some adoption chapters are located right near a racing track. You can visit and choose the vetted, unfostered dog you want right from the adoption kennel. If you're even a bit interested in greyhounds to the point of donating or even fostering a greyhound or owning a greyhound, please check for the adoption agencies in your area. At this link are all the ones around the nation that the GPA has for each state. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to vote for your favorite charities and participate in the awesomeness that is the Project for Awesome. And don't forget to be awesome. Come here. Good girl.